So there's this incredible new paper out, and it's proposing a pretty fundamental shift in how we think about artificial intelligence. It's called nested learning. And you know, it might just be the key to unlocking what AI can really do. Let's dive in. But first, let me ask you something a little provocative. Do the world's smartest AIs, yeah, the ones we're all using every day, suffer from a kind of amnesia? Well, the answer, in a really crucial way, is yes. And to fix that, we have to understand why it's happening in the first place. And that brings us to the absolute core problem with today's models. It's this kind of digital amnesia that basically stops them from ever learning forever. I mean, think about it. A large language model gets trained on this massive, massive data set, right? But once that training is over, it's pretty much frozen in time. It knows an incredible amount about the world up to that point, but it can't form new, lasting memories. Any new info you give it, it only exists in that short-term conversation. The second that context window closes, poof, it's gone. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. The researchers make this fantastic analogy to a real neurological condition called anterograde amnesia, where a person can't make new long-term memories. Just look at this comparison. Human memory, it's continual, it's dynamic, it's always evolving. An LLM's memory, it's static. It's stuck with its training data. It's like it's perpetually living in the past, forever stuck on the day its training finished. So if we wanna solve this AI amnesia problem, where do we even look for inspiration? Well, the answer is right inside our own heads. We can look at the most sophisticated learning machine ever known, the human brain. You know, our brains have this incredibly smart two-stage system for making memory stick. First, there's this super fast online phase that happens almost right away. It just stabilizes new information. But then there's this slower offline phase. This often happens when we're sleeping, where those memories get replayed and strengthened and woven into everything else we know. And that right there is the problem in a nutshell. Current AIs are missing that crucial first step. They don't have that online consolidation. All the new information from our conversations, it never even starts the journey into long-term memory. It's like a gateway that was sealed shut the moment training ended. Okay, so this is where the paper introduces its big idea, a totally new paradigm for AI inspired directly by how our brains are built. It's called nested learning. So what exactly is nested learning? Well, instead of thinking about one big system learning everything all at once, NL pictures a whole collection of learners nested inside each other. The key is that each level learns at a different speed. Some are sprinting, processing info in milliseconds, while others are taking their time, consolidating knowledge over hours or even days. And this right here, this is the aha moment. This is the whole ball game. For decades, the mantra in AI has been deeper is better. You know, just stack more and more layers. Nested learning says that's not enough. The future isn't just about going deeper. It's about adding more levels of learning, all running on different clocks. Let's break down how this actually works. Traditionally, we see an AI as just a flat stack of layers, right? A simple monolith. But nested learning says let's decompose that. Let's break the model down into its functional parts and then rebuild it as a hierarchy. Now, each part is its own learner, updating at its own pace. The paper uses this great analogy of a complex mechanical watch. Some gears are spinning every second, others turn once an hour. That's the idea here. It's a whole system of interconnected learners, all working together at different speeds. Now, once you start thinking this way, it has some pretty profound implications. It forces you to completely rethink what the basic components of an AI model actually are. And let's start with the optimizer. Get this. The paper makes a pretty startling claim. We usually think of optimizers as just these simple tools that tweak a model's parameters, but from a nested learning point of view, they're actually memory systems themselves. They're learning to compress the entire history of every update they've ever made. So. The bottom line is this. The parts we thought were just passive tools are actually active learners. Your optimizer isn't just adjusting the knobs, it's learning from the entire history of adjustments it's ever made. It's a memory module that's been hiding in plain sight this whole time. And this reframing just ripples out everywhere. Optimizers, they're memory now. Backpropagation, that core learning algorithm, it's reimagined as a local surprise signal, basically just a way to measure how wrong a prediction was. The entire architecture transforms from the static stack into a dynamic system of learners, all updating at different frequencies. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. 
this all sounds really cool in theory, but does it actually work? Well, the researchers didn't just stop at the theory. They actually built a new architecture based on all these principles, and they called it HOPE. HOPE is basically the physical embodiment of nested learning. At its core is something they call a continuum memory system. And this is exactly what we were talking about. It's a series of memory blocks, but here's the kicker. Each one updates at a different speed. Some are constantly updating, capturing the here and now, while others update much more slowly, building up that long-term knowledge. So, the million-dollar question. Does it work? Well, the proof is right here in the data. This table shows how different models of the same size performed on a bunch of common-sense reasoning tasks, and look at the results. Hope comes out on top. It outperforms other advanced architectures. Now, that higher average score, that's the concrete evidence we're looking for. It shows that this new, multi-level way of thinking actually leads to smarter, more capable models. So let's bring it all home. The really powerful takeaway from all this research is this. For AI to take that next giant leap, to finally cure its own amnesia, we have to think beyond just depth. The future isn't just about going deeper. It's about adding more levels of learning, all operating at different timescales, just like our brains do. And that leaves us with one last absolutely fascinating question to chew on. For years, our focus has been on teaching AI what to know. This research, this is all about teaching it how to learn. So if we can crack this, if we can give our AIs the ability to learn and adapt from every single interaction, just like we do, what will they be capable of tomorrow? 